two words we don't want God to say to us. Two words, my friend. Depart from me, and I never knew you. What? Depart from me, and I never knew you. Now, the part for me is when all in, in Matthew, the seventh chapter, verse 21, just they say, Lord, we prophesy in your name, we cast out demon, we do many wonderful work. And then Jesus going to say, God going to say, the part for me, you workers of iniquity. And another one is, I never knew you. Those, those five foolish virgins, they had a lamp and had oil in it, but they let the oil depart from their lap. And then Jesus, the God of our salvation, say, I never knew you. Those are the most dangerous words you can hear from God. Depart, I never knew you. Hallelujah. And guess what? Your money can't, the money came by heaven. Your money came by salvation. Your money can't rescue you. One of the time right now called Corona. Can you imagine parents will name their children Corona? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And COVID number nine. You as a parent, you should name your child a name that will bring success and bring blessing. But my subject today is words that you want to hear God to say to you. Depart from me and I never knew you. Hey, glory to God. I just put that two percent into people that you plan on naming your child in this crisis called Corona. Listen, my friend, glory to God, I'd rather live a life of poverty than live a life of success and going to hell. Well, say, live a life of success than you go to hell. Now, you can, be, you can be successful and go to heaven and go to God, but I'm talking about people that live a successful life and, they, and they're going to hell. Hell going to be your home. My friend, do you believe in hell? I don't think people believe in hell and go to God. They think hell is right here on earth. They think that God is too merciful to send people to hell. But guess what? Jesus Christ, God don't send people to hell. People decide that they want to go to hell. Because the Bible says, For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe on me shall not perish but have everlasting life. You don't want God to say the part for me. But you, what you want to hear God to say is well done, my good and faithful servant. The faithful and few things enter into the joy of the Lord. And well done. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling somebody right now, my friend. You don't want God to say the part. You want God to say, I never knew you. But you want to say, you want God to say to you, well done. Well done. Well done. Hey, glory to God. Well done. That's the singing that's in your ears when you die and come back to life and will be judged by God. I put a man once to die, then the judgment. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Been faithful a few things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Words that you want God to say to you. Depart or I never knew you. My friend, what you can do except just Christ as your Lord and Savior, except it right now while you have the breath to breathe in your body. Because we don't know what tomorrow may bring. My friend, you worry that you want God to say to you on Judgment Day, well done or depart from me.